What's up guys? It's your boy Zeke Waterbulls, aka Zeke. Um on my way to the gym right now. And I just recorded a video at home. But I didn't want to make noise because there was people sleeping. But pretty much what I showed you in that first video was my morning routine before I leave to the gym. So I'm taking these new fat burners that I bought from GNC and it's about five pills, six pills in one tiny bag and I'm going to explain it. So what I take in the morning before I go to the gym is this red pill and it's kind of like a pre-workout, wakes you up, speeds up your metabolism. It's a 12 time igniter. So from what it says and what I read about it is that it makes you burn 12 times more calories than you normally burn throughout your workout, whether it's cardio or weightlifting together. Um, so that's what I take before just to wake me up, just to give me a pump. So I don't have to take pre-workout. I feel all weird and itchy and stuff. And then you have those like bulk orangey type yellowish pills. Um, that's just uh, CLA and the little pill that kind of looks like a cookies and cream pill. That's a, a water X. And then you have two more energy and metabolism pills. And the, there's four CLA pills in there which are the big uh, yellow orangish ones. So yeah, I take those throughout the day. What those are supposed to do is uh, pretty much speed up your metabolism, uh, increase uh, your chance of burning more fat. And it's pretty much it. And I, I mix my BCAAs with my creatine. I take two scoops of that creatine because the scoops are pretty tiny. And yeah. I'm about to go to the gym, get this leg workout in. Not leg workout. Whoa. I think I'm doing arms today. I try to get some some videos in for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. This is a full day of eating, forgot to say that. So after this, go home, shower, prepare meal, meal number one, because I'm fasted right now. You don't have to do that, but I just do it because I wake up pretty early. It's six o'clock right now so yeah i'll catch you guys soon for video number one Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again. Uh, just got out the gym, trained biceps. So that's a correction on, on what I said before. Uh, right now, I'm just walking home real quick. Uh, I decided with my training partner to, to play some basketball. It's a nice day. This weather's kind of bipolar, you know, 76 degrees and like yesterday was freezing, but whatever, that's that New York City weather. <laughs> but we're on our way back, uh, about to get my basketball, go shoot around for a little, did 15 minutes of cardio before my workout. Um, 
But now I'm just about to add some more cardio in. Good for the heart, as I said before. Uh, good for staying lean and currently trying to get more lean because um, I cut my calorie intake from 1800 calories back down one more, 100 more, which is now 1700 calories. But you know, keeping my protein intake high, one pound, you know, like one gram of protein per body pound. And yeah, so I could keep, continue getting muscle, continue maintaining muscle and getting lean, losing body fat at the same time, because it is possible to build uh, muscle on a deficit. But yeah, uh, I was gonna get my first meal in of the day, but since we decided to play basketball, Probably not for long, maybe like shoot around for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Just get a little blood pumping, a little blood flow. And after, when I get home, probably eat my first meal. I'll record that for you guys. I'm gonna record every meal. I eat about four to five meals a day. So I'll record everything for you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys back at the house uh, after my little cardio basketball session. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? So we're back here at home and just making my first meal of the day, which is anabolic protein French toast. A lot of you guys uh, who have me on Instagram know that I follow Red Doucette at BB Pro and Remington James a lot, and uh, they preach a lot about low calorie dense foods. And I've been dieting for a while now, mind you, so. Like, I've been following pretty much Greg Doucette more than anything for pretty much this whole entire year. Like, I've just been following him and uh, seeing how he diets. And I tried every diet, and literally nothing has worked for me. Like, I remember one time I tried paleo, like, just a whole bunch of other diets that pretty much don't work, like, didn't work for me. I, I never felt satisfied. I always felt hungry. I felt the need to binge every weekend because I think I thought that I deserved to have a cheat meal or a whole entire cheat day. But this is this is different. Like this is something that I've never felt before while eating food. Like I don't care really about having a relationship with food. Like I don't think that's an actual thing. But like for me, not wanting to binge and being able to diet every day and eat fun foods that I like, like French toast, is the perfect way to start out your day. And then obviously. You know, you got to have your coffee, speed up your metabolism. Caffeine keeps you satiated too, keeps you going on throughout the day. But for me to diet the way that I've been dieting, because I found Greg Doucette on Instagram and YouTube, I bought his cookbook, found Remington James, like all these fun ways that they have made, like they really have changed the face of like fitness because... People think that you just gotta eat chicken, broccoli, egg whites, and this and that, and oatmeal, and like, that's not, that's not a fun way to diet. You're just always bored of that. I got tired of that, I was doing that, but then I found Greg Doucette, and like, it changed my thought process about how we should be eating, and it's pretty much just a whole bunch of low calorie dense foods, and like, you can make anything out of it, to be honest. Like, if you want to rap, make a rap. You want French toast, you make French toast. If you want popcorn, you can eat popcorn. Like, there's so many other low-calorie alternatives instead of you going out to eat something high-calorie dense and then you feel like you still need to eat and eat and eat and then you binge. And then at night, you're staying up late, probably, like, chilling with your friends or with your family, and then you're like, damn, I feel the need to eat something. But, like, nah, this diet... Like I said before, I'm literally eating 1,700 calories. You might be like, oh my God, you must be starving. But nah, I'm, I'm very satiated throughout the whole entire day. And it's a way for me to maintain myself and keep myself lean, keep this muscle, and then still lose body fat. Like, it's just an incredible way to eat. And I literally, like, I, I love eating this way. Like, I'm, I have chocolate chips right here, like, chocolate chip french toast like i could i would want to go out to like a waffle house or something and i'll probably be like let me get that but nah i could just make it in my house like it's it's as simple as that this is my first meal of the day um i'm gonna just finish cooking this up here uh 
show you guys how it looks after. And then, um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later for meal two. I normally wait three to four hours to eat in between. Normally it takes about three to four hours for a protein to digest in your system. It's not like you're eating like crazy fat, you know, but um, which it digests faster, but protein takes a little longer. And um, yeah, that's, that's how much I wait in between my meals. So what is it, 10.30? So I'll probably see you guys again around 2.30ish, eat my next meal. And I will just keep going off from there. All right, guys, so here it is. Chocolate chip French toast, coffee, Mrs. Buttersworth, syrup, sugar-free, the two CLA fat burners I was telling you guys about. It's not the prettiest French toast, but who cares? And that's it, it's about to go down. Meal number two, I got these anabolic chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I took this recipe from Remington James. They're really good, high in protein, 10 grams of protein, 90 calories. The rest you don't really gotta worry about. And then you got the little Oreo McFlurry that he made as well. Um, this is not a lot, it's like three something. And now I'm gonna add uh, chocolate chips to it. And it comes out to like about four something, almost 500 calories in total. So yeah, it's meal number two, and I'll see you guys for meal number three. So we're back with Meal number three. I know you're probably like eating too late, this and that. It's getting late and he's only on his third meal. Um, so I did my calculations and he's probably gonna eat uh, four meals. So on my way to eat meal number three. And before anyone judges me on what I'm about to eat, uh, just fun, you know, tip, fun fact. I'm about to eat pizza, but it's not regular pizza. It's uh, margarita pizza. And if you didn't know, something I had to look up for myself before actually doing it. Margarita slices do not contain as many calories as obviously a regular cheese slice or any other kind of pizza and it's pretty much low calorie dense definitely fills you up i'm about to eat four slices because it does fit into my macros well my protein and it does fit into my calorie count so i'll be eating four of those which is roughly around 500 calories so literally not bad at all fits my calorie count fits my protein and yeah i'm about to eat that so for anybody who really loves pizza i said i highly suggest trying margarita slices because they're really good pretty low in calories about 125 calories per slice rather than a regular cheese slice it's probably around 200 calories so you save yourself a good amount so we're about to eat this meal and then i'll catch up with you later in about four more hours right now it's about six o'clock so probably around 10 ish 10 30 see how i'm feeling uh satiated wise eat my last meal then after that knock out wake up in the morning do the same routine all over again it's what i love to do so i have no problem at all and in case i didn't show you guys before you know you know i'm taking the fat burners so i've been taking the pills every with every meat so i separate everything so obviously i don't take it all in one shot I'm not saying you can't but I'd rather keep it safe that way and separate everything. I just took two pill, two uh, fat burner pills that came within the pack before I left my house. So that way I don't have to carry it with me. 
and um, yeah, just take them with every meal, and and then obviously stay in a deficit. Uh, do your cardio, weight train, and then you'll definitely see results. I just started taking it this week, so we'll see what happens within a, a month or two months, maybe three months. And yeah, I'm excited. So I'll catch you guys in a few. I might show the slices. Depends how, how we're feeling. I'm kind of hungry now, so I might just eat it like real quick. But, you know, if anything, catch you guys soon for the next meal. The last meal, it's 10.45 p.m. Got this protein shake best protein powder i suggest it greg Doucette always talks about it uh, 150 calories protein cookie 90 calories and then smart pop popcorn is 100 so it's around what 350 around there this is my last meal uh it's in total my whole entire calories is 1687 and 126 grams of protein so like I was off by like 12, but whatever. Still have the carbs and fat. That's gonna, that's gonna be your sparing protein. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's a full day of eating. Plus my workouts that I'm gonna add on to the video in between. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.